thinking about research, one of the people that pops into my mind is Gideon in the Bible. A lot of times we focus on his story and focus on the faith aspect. But for me, it also illustrates his research thinking. So God calls Gideon to um, save Israelites. And Gideon, with his faith, felt like, oh, I'm not sure if I could do this. And so he asked God for a sign. So he said, I'll put a fleece in the middle of this ground. And um, if indeed you're going to, um, this is your will, this is what you want me to do, you're going to strengthen me, give me power, then let the feast be wet while the rest of the ground is dry. So he did that the next day he got up, um, the fleece was wet, the ground was dry. However, it seemed like that wasn't enough for him. So it seemed like there was a research question in his mind, even though I don't think he defined it that way. One question might be, am I hallucinating or is this really God? Or another question might be, is God really serious enough that he'll give me another sign? So he asked God for a different sign. So the next day, he asked God to do the opposite, to make the fleece dry and the ground wet. So what he was probably trying to do was to rule out confounding variables. Potential confounding variables might be maybe um, when he put the fleece on the ground the first night, um, the fleece was somewhat wet. And so um, he just didn't notice it. So it was wet. Or another confounding variable was maybe during the night, um, a goat, a sheep went by and peed on the fleece. So it was red and the other parts was dry. Or a third confounding variable was maybe he thought this fleece could absorb water or the dew more so than the ground. So the next design was to do the opposite. And indeed, God did confirm that, this, that um, second request and gave him a dry fleece um, with the, the ground being wet. So it's an interesting example about a person's faith, but it also illustrates how as humans, we tend to question and also we think logically and um, we try to explain the world um, in different ways. And Gideon's a good example that um, we sometimes doubt and um, God knows that and has his way of communicating with us. Mm -hmm.